Welcome to the Boxotronics integrated circuit goodness. We have another chip amp to take a look at. And that chip is the little bitty TDA 7231. It's a one channel audio amplifier in 8 pin dual inline package. Let's take a look at the data sheet. Here's my SGS book. They're called ST Microelectronics these days. This is from July 1987. And as I shoot this, it's May 2017. So, wow, where has the time gone? It's 30 years ago. And here is the data sheet TDA 7231. It says advanced data. That means that the chip was not actually released yet. This is just advanced information for the designer who might want to use this chip. And look at this. It operates from 1.8 to 15 volts. 16 volts absolute maximum. And I really like the design because all of the pins on this side are ground and dedicated to being a heat sink. And they use slightly heavier pins on the IC so it gets rid of heat better. It conducts away the heat. There is the schematic. They even give you a sample board layout. And here are some of the electrical characteristics. We should be able to get up to 2 watts of output at 12 volt 8 ohms. Uh-oh, we have a bench marauder here. We're going to stroll across the bench, step on everything. <laughs> Cats. Anyway, yeah, but that's at 10% distortion, so we're not going to get that in our measurements. But we will do some power measurements and see what I can get out of this thing. I should mention that this IC is obsolete now. Not sure when it went obsolete, but it's it's been gone for quite a while. However, you should be able to find it on eBay. So I'm not sure if they would tend to counterfeit this one or not. Okay, have it set up on the breadboard. Just followed the schematic on the data sheet. So I did add a input capacitor. I'd recommend doing that anyway. And we will give it a listening test. Sounds good to my ears, nice and clean. I don't know how the camera will interpret that, so you just have to take my word for it. Power test time! 4 ohm load is connected. Running at 6 volts. For our first power test. And there's clipping. Tune out those harmonics. 1.43 volts. 1.43 volts squared divided by 4. Half a watt at 6 volts. Now we'll check out 9 volts. Okay, we're at 9 volt supply and it's putting out 2.15 volts RMS. And that calculates to 1.16 watts. Let's turn this off. Oops, take a look at the distortion. Okay, that's clipping there. And that there is the 1% reference pilot signal. But we are getting about around 1% a second order harmonic distortion there. And it kind of goes up and down with the pilot as I adjust the level. I'm going to say that's prob probably because of the layout here. 
on the board here it, you can't get perfect grounds and everything so you'll end up with a little bit of low order harmonics from that so you know that could be the reason but now let's try 12 volts with an 8 ohm load I wouldn't run this at 12 volts with a 4 ohm load it's just beyond its uh, current carrying capability okay we're at 12 volt supply with the 8 ohm load and we're getting 3.45 volts RMS and that calculates out to 1.48 watts so yeah a little bit more power there and notice our distortion notches are a lot lower than the 1% pilot signal at 12 volts probably because of the higher impedance load a little bit less current so it might be the reason for getting less distortion. So in summary, the TDA7231 chip, the idle current draw at 9 volts is only 5 milliamps, so it's excellent for batteries. 6 volts 4 ohms, we got 0.51 watts. Power supply current was 1.16 amps, or 160 milliamps. At 9 volts 4 ohms, we got 1.16 watts, 260 milliamps. And again, at 12 volts, 8 ohms, we got 1.48 watts out, and a power supply current of 210 milliamps. So that is the test of the TDA7231 chip amp. Thanks for watching.